Welcome, let us start with the steps to program games on your Android device using Love2D and Lua. First, open your browser and search for Love2D. Once on the official website, look for the Android APK download. Download and install the APK file on your Android device. Now, to start programming with Lua, you need to find your work folder. Go to your device's storage and navigate to storage, android, data, org.love2d.android, files, games, love game folder. Next, you will need a text editor to create and edit your Lua files. A great choice is the quick text editor. Download and install it from the Google Play Store. Once installed, open the quick text editor. Start a new file and name it main Lua. This will be the entry point for your game. You can now write your Lua code for your Love 2D game in this file. Let us create a very basic Love 2D program that opens a window and displays the text Hello, Love 2D. Love load function is used to initialize things like the window title and size when the program starts. In the example, we use two important functions inside love load. The love window set title function is used to set the title of the game window. It takes a string as an argument, which is the text that will appear at the game window. The love window set mode function sets the window size to 800 pixels wide and 600 pixels tall. It defines how large the game window will be when you run the game. Both of these functions are used inside Love Load because they help to set up the initial environment before the game starts running, ensuring the window looks the way we want it to from the beginning. The Love Update function is called once every frame of the game and it takes DT as a parameter. In programming, a parameter is a placeholder that is used in the function definition. The DT parameter stands for delta time, which represents the time that has passed since the last frame. This helps ensure that the game runs smoothly and at the same speed, even if the phone's performance changes. When the function is actually called during the game, DT is passed as an argument. The argument is the actual value that gets passed into the function. In this case, dt will be a number representing the time that has passed between the current and previous frame. For now, we leave the love update function empty because we do not need to update anything in this simple example. However, in more complex games, you would use dt to update movements and animations, making them frame rate independent. The love draw function is called every frame to draw everything that will appear on the screen. It is where we put the code to display objects, text, and other visuals. Inside this function, we first use Love Graphics Clear. This clears the screen and sets the background color. The numbers represent the color in RGB format, where 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.5 gives us a dark blue background. Then, we use Love Graphics Set Color. This changes the drawing color to white, because the values 1, 1, 1 represent full intensity for red, green, and blue, which makes white. Finally, we use Love Graphics Print to display the text Hello, Love 2D. The numbers 350 and 300 represent the position of the text on the screen. In summary, the Love Draw function is responsible for displaying everything on the screen, from backgrounds to text, and it runs continuously during the game. After copying your main Lua into the Love Game folder, you can run Love 2D to see your first program in action.